Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a first impression slash review of this new Maybelline BB Cushion Foundation. So this is, I'm in the shade Natural 03. I don't know if it matches me completely or not. There were just two shades up available in this collection. One was 02 Nude and one, was, one is 03 Natural. This is the darker one of the two. So this this line doesn't have a lot of shades, just two actually. So I'm not sure if, I mean, I don't think it will work for anybody darker, darker than me. So, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's a nice silvery, you know, silver goldish packaging. I really like it. So, I'll read whatever it is written in the back. So, it is SPF 29 PA Triple Plus. Super BB Cushion is our first advanced BB Cushion. High coverage yet still moisturizing. For the first time, our soft cushion contains correcting minerals and moisturizing essence. Now, flawless, perfect skin is just a tap tap away. So, it is also written how to use. Pick up the liquid formula by pressing down the cushion sponge. Apply it with tapping motion and blend it on the face. Right, and they also have the list of ingredients. This is how it looks after opening the packaging. Natural. It's heavy, you know, mediumly heavy. I really like the packaging. It's... It's a nice, it's a nice thing to, you know, keep it in your bag if it works well for your skin. So we'll see that now. So this comes with a mirror, a sponge, I haven't touched it at all. I hope it matches me. And when you open it, it looks like this. When you open it, so please remove the film to use. After use, please close the container tightly. Okay. So this is how. Ow. So this is how it looks after removing this. So I first try to see how well it matches me. I'm not sure. I think it's very light for me. Well, this is the darkest that they have. So, I'll apply it. Yeah, also, you, for opening it, you have got to press this. And it comes open. And you have to put it tightly till you hear that tuck sound. So, I'll start applying it on my face. I'll use dabbing motions like it is mentioned. Let's see. It picks up a good amount of product though. I'll try to apply more on these areas where I have this acne spots.
I think there's a problem with the sponge. And it's absorbing too much product. See, it's not coming out. Maybe I'll, I need to try it with a beauty blender. But first impressions. The coverage is definitely buildable. But I don't know, this sponge makes it patchy. If you can see this, if I'm applying with this, it is rubbing off the product. Then you got to dip more and then apply more. I am just not happy with the sponge, I think. It does fill in my pores very well. I think my pores look a lot lesser other than otherwise. Coverage, I think it is medium to light coverage. And the shade, the shade range is so limited. I come in the, you know... Uh, the lighter medium skin category I think or like just medium so there are so many people who are darker and this is like light for me I feel so I'm not sure I mean this is a very bad product if you're launching in India I mean there are people of such a variety of skin people of there are people with such a variety of skin tones I mean that's unfair that I mean so many products are there for lighter skin tones and not for darker skin tones I mean, I have not seen a foundation which is there for like extremely dark skin tones. And I am I think MAC has it, yes. But other, this Lakme and these uh, Shambor and these Maybelline, they don't make stuff for, I mean, they do make it in their own countries, I'm not sure. But they are not making it in India. This foundation or whatever, BB cream has a dewy finish. I can see that glow, which I like. Let's just go through the claims that it makes first and let's see if it satisfies it or not. So on the Maybelline website, the first thing that they have written is it has a dewy radiance. Yes, it does. Second thing is intense hydration. Yes, I mean, I do feel hydrated. It doesn't feel dry for sure. High coverage. I think it's low coverage. You know, it's low coverage. Third, fourth point is poreless finish. I mean, it did minimize my pores to some extent. Yeah. Even skin tone, it didn't match me, so I can't comment on that. No stickiness. It's a little sticky. I don't know, maybe after some time. No touch-ups. Well, I'm not sure about that. SPF 29 PA triple plus. Okay, so that we can believe that Maybelline would have done that. So, so my final thoughts is, I think I would have loved this uh, BB cushion if it matched my skin. It gives a light coverage, which is good for everyday wear. But it's 1200 bucks and I'm not sure how long it's going to last. It does have a very good SPF and the coverage is like okay. Good for everyday use I can say but, but not for me because it didn't match me. So if it matches you, go ahead and try it and if you liked it, I mean it's up to you. If you just I think I would recommend that you go to a counter, apply it on your face, see how it works on you. The, entire time you are in the mall or wherever and first see that if it matches you or not i mean i think maybelline counters counters are like almost everywhere so it won't be difficult for you to go and match yourself and then see how it looks on you in the mall like apply it on your entire face and then maybe order it or online or maybe just pick it up from there so it's up to you Anyways, this is my first impressions on Maybelline BB Cushion. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.